Very sensitive. I'm hearing the word Savior, and God is saying He's imparting grace on those that God is going to be using literally to change their families. I don't know where you are, but if you are part of those people, grace is coming on you now. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. God is separating people. There is a consecration happening in the spirit because you have been identified as that battle axe that God is going to be using to rewrite the story of your family. I don't know where you are, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. May that grace locate you now. Please bring them out quickly. May that grace apakatos kebraskiba bring them out bring them out please don't be distracted that's why you came that's why you came the Lord is still revealing to me the Spirit of God is moving row to row place to place picking men up the ones who will be saviors I hear that word again saviors it is like a, a spiritual recruiting it's time for God to visit your life, visit your family. But He will always need a man, and that man is the one He's finding now. Bring them out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Bring them out. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, shaba kapara da 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 ba. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Jane? I'm hearing the name Jane. J A N E. Jane. Jane. Alanta Sabra Keparaku Sevrestia. I'm hearing the name Jane. The Lord wants to bring mighty deliverance. I tell you, there is a strong anointing in this place. As it's happening here, it's happening all over the overflows and also the airwaves. I'm hearing the name Jane. Before we sit down, Jane, who is Jane? I want to speak to your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision. I'm seeing like a mango tree and I'm seeing mangoes fall down and they are wasting. They don't stay in the tree. 
and the Lord is telling me this is the issue of fruitfulness that has been happening for a family miscarriages again and again they never stay I pray for the family of Jane every spirit that has hindered fruitfulness I stretch my hands now let that altar catch fire now let it catch fire now let it let it catch fire now I bring liberty to the family of Jane every altar eating up children destroying fruitfulness by the power of the Holy Ghost it comes to an end now Every family suffering from barrenness, unfruitfulness of any kind in the name of Jesus Christ, let that play come to an end now. Believe what you are hearing. Let that play come to an end now. Let that play come to an end now. That a mango tree with fruits, it doesn't stay until it's ripe and it keeps falling down. And you are looking at the tree, the leaves are there, but it is not producing. I say it again if there is anyone here or anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb this is the miracle service that delivers your results in the name of Jesus Christ <laughs> hallelujah now let me stretch my hands over all that have come to the front I didn't ask you to come out just to waste my time or your time I pray for you everyone who is in front here for those that are now becoming battle axes for the kingdom the anointing that you need to return back as a warrior I stretch my hands from here may that grace rest on you now may that grace rest on you now and for everyone who is out here because of an oppression of darkness that God located you by the spirit the spirit responsible for this I speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ for the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not everything that is darkness we bring light now by the spirit we bring light by the spirit we bring light by the spirit in the name of jesus christ please return to your seat rejoicing your miracles are established forever in the name of jesus those who can go just let them go those who are still under the anointing just let them be please sit down and let's finish up the second part because we need to allow the power of God to move in this place. There are people who have prayed and fasted. There are issues in your life that you must wave goodbye now. It is time and they must wave you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, the level of illumination and understanding. The second factor responsible for commanding results, unending, ever increasing results. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 16. That lady, just hold her. I want to speak. There's something I just saw. In the name of Jesus, release that lady's destiny now. I speak, I stretch my hands, let her go forever. In Jesus' name. There will be a serious deliverance here. There will be a serious deliverance here. Usher's grace for you, eh? my dear people, in the name of Jesus, because you have a lot of work to do today with what I'm seeing in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring two people from this row. I just saw light on this row. 
the power of God is coming on two people just on this row. Bring them out. There is a strong anointing coming on them. Please, very quickly, we have a lot to do. I'm seeing the power of God come where the international visitors are. I just saw light on one person. You have been praying. Bring the person out. The fire. In fact, two people I'm seeing. Please bring them out. For someone you came tonight to contact the grace for signs and wonders and in the name of Jesus I'm not I've not started the impartation yet but there is something God wants to do I stretch my hands may my God release great power upon your life great power upon your ministry great power upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ Two people from my international, is, is this one of them? Cameroon. I'm seeing deliverance happening for someone who came from Cameroon. Cameroon. I can imagine that there were a number of people, but Cameroon. This is very serious witchcraft. And God wants to bring this demonic thing to end. Cameroon. Do you have, if they are under the anointing, I need to know who is from Cameroon. Cameroon, spirit of death, people dying before their time. You are coming from Cameroon? Ah, I'm seeing a snake. What is this? Parasho Baragosieta, Kradila Kaparandos Kiata. I give you authority over snakes and scorpions. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. The spirit of untimely death destroying people in this family. I decree and declare those altars are destroyed now by the blood of the eternal covenant. Listen, let me teach you something. Look up, please. Look up, please. When you see, when you hear me say the word altar, let your mind not go to a place, a Habali shrine with stones. That's not spiritual intelligence. An altar is not a place. An altar is a system of authorization. What you call an altar that is built is only a reflection, a physical expression. Even if you destroy that shrine, it does not mean the altar has been destroyed. The system of authorization is what we call an altar. Are we together now? Yeah. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. Father, in the name of Jesus, for every of our lovely Cameroonian families that are here connected, here on ground, or connected online. I don't know why God called your name, but right now, that plague of witchcraft, help this gentleman. I command it be delivered now shame and reproach that has plagued your family it comes under arrest in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a family the hand of God is going to come upon you now when women marry they must return back to their husband's homes this is what i'm saying in the name of jesus christ i pray that whatever makes that happen by the blood of the eternal covenant it is hereby destroyed now it is hereby destroyed now it is hereby destroyed now hallelujah The Lord is showing me something. Please don't be tired there. Eh? This is a miracle service. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and the spirit of the Lord is showing me Kogi State. That there is a mighty deliverance. Help them now. 
that is coming upon Kogi State. Now it's a sign and a wonder. The moment God shows me the map and I see the people from that state, all those who are oppressed from that state, the power of God begins to touch them. It's a sign and a wonder. It's how God does. Therefore, I'm praying Kogi State, every enchantment and every divination that has tied men down, be released right now. Bring them out. Be released right now. Every part of the state, Kogi state, I bring you liberty by the spirit. I bring you deliverance by the spirit. Spirits of untimely death, all kinds of yokes of darkness, be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This is koinonia for you. Matthew 4 and verse 16. Let's finish up. I'm giving you the second reason or the second basis, the second factor that controls unending supernatural results. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone you could not lift your hands very well. I don't know what happened to your, your is it, um, is it a, I don't know if it's a, a bone condition or whatever it is. Wherever you are, I want you to lift it now lift it now you will see that a miracle has happened and if that miracle has happened stand up where you are i want to know those that the power of god has touched your right arm i'm feeling that pain just right here this is what is happening to someone but in the name of jesus the son of the living god as god has given this instruction i declare be healed now be healed now now do what you couldn't do stretch your hands don't be afraid in the name of jesus whether it's a bone condition whatever it is go ahead are you seeing what jesus is doing go ahead stretch your hands that devil is a liar in the name of jesus right now inside and outside i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost and i declare right now at the count of three let this grace for speed that you have provided even for this season let it rest on people now i release that grace take that grace now Please bring them out. Take that grace now. Inside, outside, everywhere. I activate the operation of this grace. I shift your life in the name of Jesus to strange dimensions in the spirit. Receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for Receive that grace for speed in the name of Jesus. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on death foot and overtook the chariots of Ahab to Israel. I command speed, 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 speed. Bring them out. Speed. Keleba, help that woman, please. My God. Kela Parus Kamana Katashikata. Emprakatos Delekete Prakatos. I'm still praying in the name of Jesus. It says, Ye have encompassed this mountain for too long. Turn ye northward. I prophesy again. Like, like, like fire from heaven. Let that grace for speed mantle a family now. Not just an individual. Let it come upon families. Families receive speed. I shift you. I shift you in the spirit. New level. Speed. Speed. Bring them out. Speed. You will never be the same. Never be the same. I'm not praying for individuals now. I'm praying for families. Any family stagnated here. I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost and I prophesy speed inside and outside. I release speed right now. Now the Lord is that spirit, he says. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 
the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's legs. Chains. And the Lord is saying, the Lord is bringing deliverance now. I'm seeing chains. If you are under this category as I'm praying now, the fire of God, I'm seeing fire moving, but not on people's heads, on people's feet. I decree and declare, is it not written that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty? At the count of three, anyone whose destiny has been pegged by this chain, I declare, be free now. Be free now. Let the power of God come upon you. Be free now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, be free now. I want to pray. God, I'm telling you, I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it. Chains. You see, let me tell you this. Look up. Look up. The Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is. One of it is liberty. Do you know what liberty is? It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life. There is such a thing in the dealings of God with men. As giving men liberty. I want to pray. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Many of you, this is what has plagued your life. If it is true that victory was wrought on the cross, then it's time to establish it now. Please listen to me. Just follow with the instructions. Be childlike in your heart and let God give you a testimony. Are we together now? He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, I meant, uh, uh, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. Bye. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night. But except God is not God, you must be free. Right now in the name that is above all names. I pray for individuals and families alike. It is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness. That have held men bound. But in the name of Jesus Everywhere here overflow one, two, three outside. As you shout that name that is above all names, I decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of God in your life and family must jump out of your destiny. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. I command forces and go, go now, go now. Release destiny. Release destiny. Ela baraka toshe pekeretos. Keli abratot pekeretos. Every ordinance that is not the planting of God, let it go now. Let it go now. I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit. Let it go now. I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church and I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear. I don't know what family and what person came here crying. But the Bible says to comfort they that mourn. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon your life now. That terminates everything that brings tears. That terminates everything that brings tears. Bring them out.
Hallelujah. Young lady, please shift this one. You, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. My friend, lift your hands. This, yes, you. The Lord is granting you the spirit of revelation. I saw something come upon your eyes, and the Lord is saying He's taking you to dimensions of revelation. Let her go now. Now, release her family. Now, in the name of Jesus. Please listen. I, I know that we don't have time, but please, I want you to, every time the Lord shows me this, then I know that He wants me to move around. I begin to see light, a similitude of angels by my left and right. And it's, it's, a, very, it's a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people. When this begins to happen, all I need to do is, you don't have to touch me, just move around your road. Listen to me. Except God is not God. As he has anointed, as I pass your row, if there is anything that is not of God, it must let you go. Are we together now? So please, you pray. The moment we do that, then we we'll begin to minister to the sick. These things are signs and wonders. They are supernatural. They are supernatural even by the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Please... I just want you to believe by faith. Just believe by faith. And then, as I pass, the Lord is going to touch you. It will be the end of... It's not something you can do anything about. You are under the influence of the anointing. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus. That everything that is not of God must give way. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be liberty... Now, liberty, now, in the name of Jesus, Shekatere Kota, Karus Kabadi Shelebrandi Kata, Empra Katus Kalabros, Keto Pres Kete Pareta, Madame, be free. I take it out of your life now. The hand of God is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Lord is touching you. I'm seeing God taking something out of someone's stomach here. Yeah. It's going now. Now. I release it now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. I'm seeing fire rising from this road. Just from, I don't know who it is, but fire is coming on someone from this road. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare.
Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now, 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 now. Now, keep praying. Lift your voice. Overflow one. Keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you right now. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. I take it out of you right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Right here where I'm standing. Right here where I'm standing. The Lord is taking something out of your life. Be free. I'm standing here and the Lord is saying it is over. He's speaking to someone. It is over. An anointing is coming on you now. It is over. 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 Shalakata. Over. Madam, be free now. The power of God is touching someone here. In the name of Jesus, be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Please help them, help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Be free now in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare be free. Be free, be free, be free. Every devil of darkness. Be free now. Please open your heart and receive. Stretch my hands here. Anything that is help. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. In a chain, a chain around here. I don't know who that person is, but I lose you now. As I stand here, I lose you now. By the spirit of the living God, I lose you now. I lose you now. Hallelujah. Overflow one. I don't know if I'm able to walk around. It's working now. Please believe. It's a few minutes. God is touching you. You came here so that he will visit you. It's impossible to not testify. Now, please look at me overflow too. I'm not going to pass in your midst. I will walk right here. And as I walk, the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now. 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 Be free. I take away every reproach. I take away every reproach. You can't stand it. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're talking of the anointing here. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. I stretch my hands here. Go now. Go now. Every reproach. Every reproach. Go now. Go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here, I'm passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please, let your heart be open. Please. Except God is not God. 
Whatever it is that has held you, as I pass by the Spirit, the power of God comes on you. Some of you will be receiving impartation. It's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, honor your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, be free. I may not be able to move, but please lift your hands. All of you, at the count of three, overflow three, let me hear you shout the name Jesus. The moment you shout that name, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like fire coming out of people. This is something living people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. From the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus. I release your destiny now. I release your destiny now. Madam, look at me. I set her free now. Believe her destiny right now. That woman you are holding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I declare to you. I, I release speed inside. I want to pray that prayer now. I don't know what has slowed you down. Overflow three. From the front to the back. May the grace for speed come on you now. May the grace for speed come on you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, whether you are an usher or not, help anybody under the anointing close to you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has held your destiny bound, but in the name of Jesus, one more time I want you to shout the name Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. You came for a miracle service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Overflow 3, look at me. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family. I will soon walk out, but I just want you to know you are part of it. And that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. The Lord is showing me a family here. There is a plague of sickness. Everybody from father to the last child. There is nobody who is fine. Right now as I am speaking, the power of God is coming upon that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 3. I am seeing the number 21. This is the healing anointing coming on 21 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. This is not a healing miracle. This is the anointing to heal. Right now, from the front to the back, upon gentlemen and upon ladies, receive that grace. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Ecclesiastes 5 verses 4 to 5 says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay in fulfilling it. He has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vow. It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. In a world where it's easy to back out of promises, God calls us to honor our word. Whether it's commitment to family, work or relationship, let us be people of integrity who follow through on what we say. This new month of November, I want us to consider how we can be faithful in keeping the promises you've made. Maybe you've made promises to someone or maybe even promises to God and you've not fulfilled this promise. I want us to use this new month as a, an opportunity for us to fulfill those promises because God does not take pleasure. God does not like those 
who doesn't fulfill their promises. And I pray that as we do that, as God, we ask God to give us the grace to fulfill those promises. I pray that as we do that, we ask for the grace of the Lord Almighty will give it unto us and He will bless us in Jesus' name. For the powerful message you are about to listen to from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Salman, I want us to open our hearts, our understanding. And after this video, I want us to also watch it over and over again for a better understanding. I want us not just after now, you watch this video and then you keep it aside. I want us to meditate on this word. And I want to encourage us that we shouldn't be hearers alone, but hearers and doers of God's word. I pray that as we watch this video, we will have answers to our prayers. I pray that our eyes will be open to things that we're finding difficult to giving answers, solutions to our problems in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with someone. Someone somewhere, someone out there needs this video. Don't just keep it to yourself. Please share with someone, a friend, a colleague, your loved one, and yes, your enemies, even a stranger. Share this video with them. It's also a form of evangelism. It's also a form of telling someone about God. It's also a form. Someone somewhere might be depressed, might be down, might be lost in thoughts, might be looking for answers. And this video is something that will give them is, is, a, is an answer to their prayers. Please share this video. Share this video to as many people as you can and as you do that the lord almighty will help bless and direct you on how to go about it in jesus name for those that are just coming across the to hub tv for the first time we are glad to have you here just hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so all of the videos that will be posted here on Reflector Hub TV, you'll be notified about them. Thank you so much. Keep your hearts open and your expectations high as you watch this video. Stay blessed and thank you.